Welcome back to Webion Systems. This is Abhishek Patel. So in this video, I will walk you through the Gherkin editor that you see inside the test complete. Okay. So in the last video, we have seen how to get started with BDD. And in this video, I will give you insight about the important or the most used feature of Gherkin editor. So this is the feature file and these are the Gherkin syntax that we have used to write this acceptance test. First, let's see the indentation. For instance, if you want to indent this test steps, then you can use this or this tool or this button, okay? First, select the test steps. And if you click on this decrease indent, then it, it will move to the left side, okay? See, and if you click on this right, and it will move to the right side. The reason why we need indentation is to make our code look good and neat. Okay, it's easy to read if your code has nicely indentation. Okay, so this is how you do indentation. Okay, so now let's see how to run these scenarios. Okay, to let's say you want to run this scenario, then first click on this scenario and now right click and you can select this option that is run this scenario and that way you can run this specific scenario okay if you want to run this scenario then click on that scenario right click and run this scenario that will run this specific scenario okay and if you want to run both the scenarios one by one then you want to run this feature okay so for that click on this feature right click and run this feature file that way you can run all the scenarios that are in this feature file okay so this is the one way to run scenarios and features the another way is first click on the scenarios that you want to run and click on this button which says run this scenario and that will run the scenarios on which your cursor is being placed okay same for this scenario and same for like if my cursor is here and if I hover over this button, it says run this scenario. Clicking on it will run this scenario, okay? To run this feature, same, click on this feature. And now if I hover on this button, it says run this feature file. That way, I can run all the scenarios that are sitting in the, inside this feature file, okay? So we have seen indentation and we have seen how to run the scenarios and feature. One more way to run this scenario is Click on the scenario that you like to run and right click and you can select this option that is add scenario to test item. And that scenario would be added to the test item. So when you run the whole project, this scenario will run as a part of the your project item. Okay, so that way you can add the scenarios to your test item and when you run your project, all those uh, test items would run as a part of the uh, project run. Okay, let me delete this. And let me go back to the feature file. Okay. The another feature that I like is adding the tag. Okay, I can add a tag. For instance, I can say this as a login tag. I can add a login tag. Okay, here the valid login. I want to add a tag for this scenario as smoke and as well as regression. Okay. Similarly, for this non valid login scenario, I want to add it as a part of regression tag. But I do not want to include it in a smoke test, so I'm not going to add the same tag or the smoke test tag okay do not worry about this tag at the moment because i'm going to cover it in a much detail in the further videos but just i want to make you aware that you can add the tags inside your gherkin editor okay one more feature that we cons constantly use is the comment okay to add a comment inside your gherkin editor first type this hash okay and now you can add you can write anything as a comment okay like this okay so these are the some of the features 
that you are likely to use while building or while developing the feature file okay the indentation then running the scenarios as well as the features and writing the commands okay that's it in this video so in the next video i will walk you through the syntax of this Kirkin language that we use while developing the feature file okay thank you very much and see you next time